Hey, my creators, it's your girl, Tina. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here, you all, to show you a little small share of a project that I was um, asked to, to create for some second graders. And so we know that Valentine's Day, Love Day, is coming up in February. And I had a coworker to uh, reach out to me and ask if I could create some nice little favors that she wanted to send to some of her second grade um, students. So we all know we in the midst of Corona and um, a lot of schools are doing online learning. And so she's choosing to, uh, even though they're not in person in the classroom, she's still choosing to um, celebrate the Love Day by sending her students um, little small gift packages um, to their home, which I think was fantastic. So um, you all know I'm not big on creating for Valentine's Day, but when she asked me, I just thought it was such a warm and sweet uh, gesture just to make um, things appear or to seem normal um, for the students. I just think it was just awesome. So um, for what she wanted to use um, or gift, I should say, to her um, second graders, I had no idea how I was going to um, come up with something to package these items. I did not have um, any dyes that could coincide with the item. I um, did not really have any um, already made up packaging that I thought was cute enough uh, for <clears throat> for uh, me to um, actually have her to pay me to package up these items. So you all, I put my mind together and I um, came up with a little, I'll call it a concoction. <laughs> but I'm going to see what you all have to say. Can somebody tell him thank you? Let's get it. All right, so you all, she was using pencils. Okay, so this is the item that I was kind of struggling with. Like, what can I do to package these up for her? So that she could send them to her um, students. So these are um, some pencils. And she wanted me to do something with them. Uh, cute and simple. That she can um, send to the babies. So let me show you all what I came up with. Here you go. I created this little small box. Just to house the pencils in. Um, no dye. Um didn't really know what to do, but I was like, okay, how do you package <laughs> pencils? And I thought about the um, pretzels ba pretzel bags that they um, sell at Joann's in the um, cake section. Um, they had those long pretzel bags. So that's going to be the final uh, packaging of this product, but I thought it was cute to just create a little small box. I took some ribbon and a button and just adhered it with some hot glue. I have to make, um, she wants me to make 20 of these. I think they just came out too cute. Um, you all know I'm not crazy about crafting with pink, but I must say that this came out nice. All right. And here's another one. I started off with putting a ribbon like this. And then I decided, um, I really didn't like that. So I came up with this and I liked it much better. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? Okay. And then here's another one. And it goes on and on and on. So now what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to go now because I have created all of the boxes. I'm going to go. I'm going to stuff these inside of the pretzel um, the pretzel bag. But what I've decided to do is it's going to be candy as a filler at the bottom. 
So it'll be filled instead of shred paper, it'll be filled with um candy at the bottom. And then I'll stuff it with this little treat in the middle. And I think that's cute. All right. If you all are interested in how I created this uh, pencil holder box, leave me a comment below. And I can come back and do a quick tutorial to show you how I came up with the dimensions and how I designed this box. So I made the box and then I simply layered um, this decorative paper on the front and I really like what what uh, how it came out and then I'll come I can also come back and show you all if you're interested on how it looks when it's stuffed with the candy inside of the pretzel bag I know I will um, post a pic on my Instagram account so if you're interested in how to create this box leave me a comment in the description box tell me what you think about my little pencil favors I thought it was really really sweet of her to want to uh, send a little sense of normalcy to the students because had they been in person she would in fact have a little Valentine's party in the classroom. So I think that this was awesome and I think this was great. So I was excited to create with pink this go around just for the babies. All right, till next time, you all stay blessed. Wash them hands, hot water and soap and do what? Continue to um, create you all. Let create creativity be your happy space. Till next time, love you all.